praise and your dedication, God is going to really do a miraculous miracles in your life right now. I truly believe God is going to impart his mighty blessings upon you. Praise God. Let's turn our attention to Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, words 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 and 2. Now after this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them into pairs ahead of him to every city and the place where he himself was going to come. And he said to them, the harvest is plentiful. True, but the labors are few. We can also, you know, read that verse another way. Uh, praise God. The harvest are plentiful, but true labors are few. Praise God. The harvest are plentiful, but labors are few. Praise the Lord. Truly, I believe it today, this afternoon is is the time going to be a great breakthrough in your spiritual ministry life. I believe that you are all here in this leadership meeting because you have a passion to be used by God. One of the greatest qualities that we have to maintain in our life, God is looking at our burning desire to be used by God. Praise the Lord. If you have a cry in your heart, a passion in your heart, a desire in your heart to be used by God, God is going to use you in his mighty hands. Praise the Lord. God is not looking at a degree people, PhD, THD, uh, master degree holders. God is looking for someone who can be totally dedicated to him, available to him all the time, every 24 hours. Praise the Lord. God wants to use such kind of people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have great, great people with great profiles in our churches. We have great pillars in our churches. Sometimes these pillars looking people become pillows in our churches. We have great supporters, but they are useless in the mission field. God is still looking for the available people, dedicated people whom he can trust, he can share his heart with. Praise God. He can spend time with them. Praise the Lord. Bible says Jesus appointed other 70. In the gospel of Luke chapter 9, the very first verse says Jesus appointed the 12. And he gave them authority over all kinds of demons and to heal all the diseases. And to preach the word. Remember the word? He gave them authority over all types of demons. And here in the 10th chapter verse 1, Bible says, Jesus is appointing other 70. So what was the reason? What was the importance there? Jesus is immediately appointing other 70 soon after he appointed the 12. Praise God. Before I get into the uh, message that God has given my heart, I just want to bring as an introduction seven Christian leadership principles as an introduction. The first one, all ministry, all ministry should have a is origin from God. Your ministry should be begin in the heart of God. Praise God. Second point. Your ministry should be focused or fixed to God's purposes. Third point. You should do your ministry in the power of the Holy Spirit. Fourth one. In order to do the ministry, you must be called by God. You should never ever doubt 
the call of God in your life. If you are a person doubting all the time of the call of God, God cannot use that person anymore. First one, you should be anointed by the Holy Spirit. Specifically delegated to do the call of God in your life. What is anointing? Anointing is the ability for you to do the call of God in your life. Sixth one. You should have a master plan from the master in regards with your ministry. A strategic plan from the master. When Jesus appointed his disciples, when he was sending them to the field, he told them how to go, what to carry with them, and uh, where to go. When they face opposition, how to face them, how to respond to them. If someone is not accepting you at home, how you should behave, what, what you have to say, praise God, and what you wear, how to walk, everything. Jesus gave them a complete master plan before he sent them into the field. You should have a strategical plan from God, a blueprint from God in regards with your ministry. Praise the Lord. If you don't have that, you will be useless. Praise the Lord. And the last point. You should have enough faith for the needed resources in your mission. Praise the Lord. Before God created man, God you know, made everything needed for him. Garden, light, everything that he wanted. When God wanted Noah to build the ark, Bible says the society at that time, it was a corrupted society, cruel people, where he gets the sponsorship to build the ark. Bible says Noah found favor in the sight of God. If you are a leader, Finding favor in the sight of God. All the resources will be available to you from God. Amen. Praise God. When God wanted Moses to build the tabernacle. Praise God. Bible says God, God called Moses to be with him for 40 days and night. In the mountain. Moses had time to go along with God. To spend that precious time. Praise the Lord. When the leaders spend that much time with God, Bible says, God started moving the heart of the people. People became willing to offer the offering. Praise the Lord. We need to see a move of God in our churches. If there is a move of God in your heart, in your churches, your people will be a willing people to resource you, to help you. Praise the Lord. Keep in mind these seven principles. Never forget. Praise the Lord. First of all, I said your ministry should be begin. Or it should have this origin from God. In the heart of God. Secondly, your ministry should be focused to God's purposes. Thirdly, you must be doing the ministry in the power of the Holy Spirit. Fourthly, you must be called by God. Fifth, you should be well anointed, delegated from God. Sixth, you should have the master plan from God in regards with your ministry. Seventh, you should have enough faith to believe the needy resources you need in the ministry. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Jesus appointed other 70. Soon after, he appointed the 12. What was the need here? Let's go back to the ninth chapter of Gospel of Luke. Verse 1 says, he appointed the 12 disciples. 
he gave them authority but in that very chapter something is happening in the life of these disciples can you look into the verse 46 luke chapter 9 verse 46 it says there was an argument among the disciples as to which of them might be the greatest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you with me? Do you understand my Indian English? Yes. Hallelujah. God appointed the twelve in this previous chapter, chapter 9. Jesus was not able to really use them the way he wanted in the beginning. Very soon he is appointing other 70 to do the will of God. I truly believe this afternoon is going to be a time of impartation. One re the first reason, what was the problem with these 12 persons? What was the problem with them? The first one, Bible says, they had an argument among them. Who is the greatest? Am I the great preacher? Or I am the one senior pastor mostly spend time with? Or I'm singing well? Or I'm praying more? Who is the person get more attraction in the church? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who is the person having the great position in the church? That was an argument among disciples. The Bible says. It was not a talking. It was an argument among the disciples regarding who will be greatest among them. That's the first reason of the failure of their ministry. God wanted another Pentecost to use them again. In the beginning, Bible says, God gave them, Jesus gave them authority upon all types of demons to preach the word, to heal the sick, to raise the dead. But these people become useless because of their wrong thinking, wrong spirit that they carry in their mission field. Praise God. The first one, they had an argument. Praise God. Who is the greatest? Somebody asked the founder of Campus Crusade for Christ, Bill Bright, asked him, Sir, what is the secret of this greatness of your life? Or the reason of this kingdom experience in your life. And he said, the very day I got saved, I wrote a sentence in a piece of paper. And still, I practice that. And he said like this, I wrote a sentence like this, from this day forward, I will be a slave of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Somebody asked the founder of Salvation Army, William Booth. The same question. He said, one of a powerful point. The secret of your greatness is the measure of your surrender. Praise the Lord. How much we can surrender? How much we can available, how much we can dedicate, that much God is able to use you more and more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your profiles, your degrees are not useful for God, brother and sister. Hallelujah. I mean, when your heart is more into God, when you are dedicating yourself completely to God, when you say yes to the call of God, every time the heaven is ready to take you in his hands, every time God wants to open up his heaven upon you, every time Holy Spirit wants to use you, but only one condition if you're available for God. You know, Moses, a great man of God. Evangelist Stephen is making a note of Moses in the seventh chapter book of Acts. So most of the time we, we think that Moses was not able to speak properly. He was law of uh, speech and tongue. 
But Stephen says he was powerful in his words and in his action. Hallelujah. Stephen says he was powerful in his words and action. Book of Acts chapter 7, 22 says, Stephen says he was well educated in all the Egyptian knowledge. And he was a powerful man in his words and in his action. What happened to this man in the fourth chapter of the book of Exodus? First 40 years, he was a great man, skilled man. Hallelujah. But the same like because there was no proper mentoring in his life. No proper leadership that he had in his life. He went on the wrong track. Praise the Lord. When we come to book of Exodus chapter 2 verse 11, when he grew up, he went to his brothers to see their burden, their labor. And he went to, you know, that shows his leadership quality, but he couldn't apply his leadership in a calling in a right way. Praise the Lord. Unnecessarily he interfered in a place and and, and, and made a mess there, and he had to run away from that place. Later, he went to Midian, and there he saw the daughters of, hallelujah, Jethro, praise the Lord, seven daughters there, and they're trying to draw the water to give their uh, I mean, animals. Bible says the shepherds came and drew them away. Praise God. Then Moses tried to help them there. And automatically, he became the shepherd there. For another 40 years, he was a shepherd there in the land. Praise the Lord. But when God came in the burning bush, Moses is making a confession saying, I'm not, I'm not a qualified guy. I'm not able to speak properly. I'm slow of speech. Slow in my tongue. Praise the Lord. What happened to this man? He was somebody in the beginning. Now he became nobody. Praise the Lord. When he was somebody, God couldn't use him. When he confessed that he is a nobody, God started using this man as the greatest leader of Israel. Praise the Lord. If you feel that you are somebody in your heart because you have certain degrees, certain certificates, ordination, hallelujah, certain good heritages, remember that won't be the qualification for God to use you. When you admit that, Lord, I'm nobody. Praise God, I'm an ordinary person. When you join hands, I mean, as an ordinary person, when you join hands with the extraordinary God, God will begin to use you in a mighty way, brother and sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So there was an argument in the life of disciples regarding who is greatest among them. That was the first reason God couldn't, Jesus couldn't use them properly and he had to appoint other 70 soon. Praise God. The second reason, Listen carefully. Gospel of Luke chapter 9, verse 49 says, can I read for you? Verse 49, John answered and said, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we tried to prevent him because he does not follow along with us. Hey, praise the Lord. First of all, in the verse 46 we read, this disciples' heart were filled with the position-oriented spirit. <laughs> spirit of position. Secondly, they had a denomination spirit. <laughs> Coming to the point, why God is not using these people the way he wanted? <laughs> Bible says, when I, when I read the scripture, you know, uh, it makes me laugh at them because John says, We have been delegated by you to cast out all types of demons. But if, when you check verse 40 of 9 chapter Luke, Bible says, One man came to Jesus and said, My son is possessed by the enemy possessed by demons, and he's been suffering by that, 
and the demons are struggling him a lot. And we went to your disciples and they couldn't heal him. But the very disciples has been anointed by Jesus. Jesus gave them authority in the beginning of the ninth chapter about all types of demons. But the disciples all told of them might have tried 12 times to cast out the demon here. But they couldn't do. The man says to Jesus, they couldn't do. He says, we went to your disciples, not just a disciple. Disciples, that means I tried all of them, all of them, praise the Lord. And they couldn't do anything. Praise the Lord. See, there is a problem like that happening. Even though they are the right people, full-time missionaries, ordained pastors, they couldn't succeed in the ministry that God gave them. In this situation, a common man is casting out demons in the other place. Bible says, verse, the verse we read, and we saw someone is casting out demons. We tried our best. We are the main people. We couldn't do that. We saw someone is casting out demons in an easy way, just pointing his finger and commanding, demon, get out. Demons are fleeing. All of us, all of us tried our best to cast out a demon just before. We couldn't do that. Since we cannot do, how this common man can do? And John requested him, can you join in our group? That's what the Bible says. He said, no, I am independent. Praise God. Since he was not joining with us, he was not coming along with us, we stopped him. That's what the Bible says. You understand? Hallelujah. A kind of denomination spirit. When these people, important leaders, been called by God, receive higher authority from God because of certain different wrong spirit that they carry in their heart, they couldn't succeed in their ministry. But some, one common man is mightily used by God on the other side. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, don't hate him. Don't stop him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is the difference between mainline and smaller churches. Hallelujah. Main group, smaller group. There is a fight. There is a kind of denominational spirit is working. The same spirit working in religion. The same spirit is working in certain churches. In, in the heart of certain leadership. As long as this type of wrong spirit is working in your heart, God cannot use you at all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And thirdly, verse 51. Gospel of Luke chapter 9 verse 51 says, another problem. Hallelujah. If you are bored of my preaching, please tell me. I will stop, okay? <laughs> verse 51 says, When the days were approaching to his ascension, he was determined to go to Jerusalem. He sent messengers ahead of him, and they went and entered the village of Samaritans to make arrangements for him, but they didn't receive him because he was traveling toward Jerusalem. When his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and to consume them just because they didn't want to help us? Have you ever noticed these verses? Yes. Praise God. They had an argument already in their heart regarding who is the greatest. Who is reverend, doctor, pastor. Secondly, they had a type of denominational spirit they carry. When they saw a little man is used by God powerfully, oh, they couldn't. I mean, manage that. They develop their blood pressure. Hallelujah. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this third, I mean, in the, in the third session you see that these people, they had a judgmental spirit. If you're not going to help you, if you're not going to help me, I'm speaking something else, not a blessing word upon you. I, I will be rather judgmental towards you. Uh, one pastor shared this testimony like that. One woman came to the pastor and says, Pastor, the Holy Spirit says that my season is up in the church. Pastor said, what? The Holy Spirit says that uh, I may have to leave this church. <laughs> uh, Pastor said, okay. If the Holy Spirit said, who am I? <laughs> Some people wrong, <laughs> wrongly put this word. Holy Spirit is saying like that. Um, and I had, a, I had a story from one of our leaders in Kerala from a Pentecostal Bible college. I, I mean, man came to study the Bible college there. It's a three years program, graduation program, bachelor degree in theology. And during the interview, and uh, the candidate said, I came to join the Bible college because the Holy Spirit told me to join this college for this course. So after three months, uh, he said he wanted to leave the college. And uh, he was trying to run away from the college, uh, you know, without showing himself to the main leaders there. And someone caught him there. And he asked, I mean, he asked him, what is the problem? Why do you want to leave the college? And this man said, the Holy Spirit is again telling me not to continue here. And the principal of that college came to him and said, when you came here, you said, the Holy Spirit said, you to join this college. So, do you think that this Holy Spirit doesn't know that this is a three-year program? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, same way this woman came to the pastor and said, Simple reason the Holy Spirit says. And she said, and the pastor is making um, a comment like that because she had a problem with a woman in the choir. And she said, This woman is pregnant and not married. I can't live like this in this church. And Pastor, I'm sorry about that. But when God saved her, she, God saved her in this situation. I cannot just, you know, take her out of the position because her salvation is connected to her singing gift too. Praise God. Then the Pastor said, if you want to leave, since the Holy Spirit said, you can go. Praise God. Hallelujah. The same way, these people were misusing the authority of God, asking God to really judge these people, destroy these people. Jesus says, Son of Man hasn't come to destroy, but to save. Yes. Praise the Lord. Bring a destruction, being judgmental. Each other. Some, some people, some so-called leaders in the church says, I don't like that guy. I don't like that woman. I don't like those people. If we don't like the people, why we are engaged in the people's business? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Jesus is asking a question to these people. Hear this word. Chapter 9, Gospel of Luke. Praise God. Verse 55 says, Jesus turned and rebuked them, said, Do you know what kind of spirit you are of? The same Jesus gave authority, praise the Lord, upon the same disciples. Because of this wrong attitude and spirit that they develop, Jesus himself is asking a question, Do you know what type of spirit you have now? Praise the Lord. What type of wrong spirit you guys are carrying? 
I cannot be with you like that. Praise the Lord. I cannot bless you like that. I'm looking for another generation. I'm looking for a group of ordinary men and women. I'm looking for a hallelujah, praise the Lord, common, common, I mean, people groups whom I can share my heart with, whom I can share my kingdom heart with, whom I can use as a machines of harvest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus was looking for other 70 in the chapter 10. Bible says in the very next chapter, Jesus appointed other 70 and gave them the authority. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Why Jesus is appointing other 70 all of a sudden soon after he appointed the 12? Because of this kind of mentality, and this kind of wrong spirit, the 12 were important disciples carrying themselves. Jesus couldn't use them. Hallelujah. As a fruitful people. Praise the Lord. I mean, they, they record another Pentecost to be used by God. Hallelujah. But now Jesus is looking for an ordinary group of persons whom he can trust, whom he can share his heart with. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Jesus looked for other 70. Other 70 came without any name, any profile. Do you find any names of them? No. First, all who had the name, praise the Lord. The seven didn't have any name, any name, any position, praise the Lord. If the leadership of the church delegate you to do a work, first of all, hallelujah, you will ask many, many things. How I will be supported, where I have to go, what are the facilities I have, how many salaries I have. Hallelujah. Who will be going with me? Lot of questions we have. What will be my position? Oh, so much concerns that we have. Here we can find 70 simple people. Not demands at all. They don't want their name, praise the Lord, to be recorded in the newspaper. Hallelujah. But they have a heart passionate for God. They have a heart, hallelujah, to do God's great work. They are ready to receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They are ready to I mean, become the machines of harvest. They are ready to go everywhere, wherever God, that God send them. Praise the Lord. They have complete submission. No questions, no demands, no complaints. Rather, they are subjective to the leadership. Praise the Lord. 70 others. Praise the Lord. 70 others. Even today, Jesus is looking at a new generation. The Spirit of the Lord is telling it to me tonight, to, this afternoon that a certain common people here that God wants to share his heart with. Praise the Lord. Certain group of men and women here, when the full timers are unfaithful, God is looking for part timers. Praise the Lord. When the full timers are not fruitful in their own mission field, God is looking for certain ordinary people or part time workers. Hallelujah. If you are ready, if you are available for God, you are going to be used by God in a mighty way. Hallelujah. To find the victims of the enemy, to pray for the sick, to raise the dead. Hallelujah. To cast out the demon spirit, to stand in the authority of God, to experience the weight and the height of the anointing and the power that you have from God. Hallelujah. Without leaking this anointing out, without compromising with the world system. Hallelujah. God is going to raise up a new community, a new leadership, a new group of common people whom he can trust, whom he can relay, whom he can anoint, whom he can export to other nations with his mighty anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is looking for people. This is the afternoon time. This is the time that God is looking. The eyes of God are set upon every one of you. God is looking upon every one of you. Hallelujah. This is the time. This is the time of the breakthrough. This is a time of new beginning. This is a time of new era. This is a time that God is going to take you in a next level. This is a time that God is going to use you in a very unexpected way. If you are an ordinary person, if you admit that you are an ordinary person, the extraordinary God is going to partner with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
today is the time for that the spirit of the lord told me john here number of people are here to be used by god they're passionate hallelujah i want to use them praise god see to the 70 i know my time is running to the 70 jesus wanted to share some revelation with the 70 came back with a good report. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus, do you know one thing? When we spoke in your name, we have seen demons are fleeing. They are subject to your name. Then Jesus shared three important revelations in the Bible. I have seen Satan falling from heaven as a lightning Amen. the first revelation hallelujah satan of eternity past fell from the presence of god because of his rebelliousness jesus said i have seen him falling from heaven as a lightning when the lightning happens then two powers hit each other on the same axis the lightning take place and the kingdom of God, kingdom of the enemy, encountered, hit each other, the same axis. I will say is the kingdom of the enemy fell down. And the kingdom of God still existing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, the enemy fell from heaven, became a serpent in the Garden of Eden. Second revelation. Jesus said to them, he wanted to share his heart with them. I'm giving you power to tread upon the serpents and the scorpions. Hallelujah. The very power fell from heaven, became serpents and the scorpions. Praise God. Hallelujah. Serpent have the craftiness. Right from Genesis Till Malachi, you can see that devil is not directly appeared anywhere. Rather, he used his agents there. He was, all the time, he was hidden. Hidden behind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Different people, Pharaoh, Goliath, hallelujah. And uh, praise the Lord, different, different Gentiles that the devil used in the history, they were not Satan. They were not demons they were people used by enemy praise god this was the tactics strategy of the enemy using his agents in the old testament but in the new testament someone has come here into the world who knew the secret of enemy's failure his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus says, hallelujah, even though enemy fell from heaven, hallelujah, down to the earth, no one celebrated that failure on the face of the earth till now. Until the day Jesus is speaking this thing to the disciple. Because no one knew that. Heaven celebrated, but someone has come from heaven our Savior, his name is Jesus Christ. He has seen with his eyes the devil is falling from heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the same Jesus is appointing you. Hallelujah. The same Jesus who know the secret of the failure of the enemy is appointing you. Hallelujah. To tread upon the serpents. To tread upon the scorpions. And all the powers of the enemy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Get it more, get it more, hallelujah. Yeah. The same Jesus is looking for a generation who will celebrate the victory, hallelujah, on the face of the earth. To this common group, Jesus is saying, I am giving you the authority. Three important revelation. I have seen him falling from heaven as a lightning, giving you the power to tread upon the serpents and scorpion. And then, upon all his powers, directly, Jesus 
mentioning all the powers of the enemy. That means in the New Testament, he cannot be hidden like that in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, enemy has to come out because someone is came from heaven who know the secret of his failure. And he is now working in your very spirit. Jesus is in your spirit. When you have Jesus in your spirit, when you have the royal anointing of Jesus Christ in your spirit, with that anointing, when you stand in the name of Jesus, looking at a demon, demon in the name, name of Jesus, I cast you out because, hallelujah, the very demon, I mean, the very devil know you are the one carrying the Jesus who have seen the falling of the enemy from heaven, hallelujah, and you be known now the secret of his failure, that's because of that reason, no enemy can stand before you because you also now knew how he fell. Yes. Praise the Lord. How he fell. You are not alone in your mission journey. Someone you are joined your hands with. Someone is living inside of you. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Almighty God, wonder working God, miracle working God, hallelujah, is working inside of your spirit. Praise the Lord. You are carrying a kingdom. You are carrying a passion. You are carrying a king with you. He's a living God. He's a wonder working God. No devil can stand before him. Praise the Lord. When you stand as a missionary, when you stand as a man and woman of God, when you stand an apostle of God, never think that you are alone. You are doing the greatest mission. Hallelujah. You are the powerful force in the world. No enemy can shut you down. No enemy can stop before you. No mountains can stand before you because there is a God living in you who is greater than any other mountains. Hallelujah. No powers of the enemy can challenge you anymore. No weapons of the enemy can spawn prosper against you anymore because the one who is living in you he is the one who is, I mean greater than the one who is in the world hallelujah how many of you say that I have a kingdom in my heart I have a passion I have a king in my heart he has seen the fall of the enemy hallelujah because of him by his power I'm going to step forward I'm going to subdue nation I'm going to be a select arrow I'm going to be a sharpened weapon in the mighty hands of God. This is the afternoon time that God is using you once again. The power of God is manifested here. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. 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 Bible says in the, in the book of Psalm 114, verse 1 to 4, when Israel came out of Egypt, when Judah became his sanctuary. Hallelujah. When all the people of Israel coming with Moses out of Egypt, Bible says the mountains are skipping like rams, in the hills like lambs. Hallelujah. The Red Sea flee away. I mean, Jordan turn back. Have you ever talked to the Red Sea? I mean, if you talk to Red Sea, ask the Red Sea. Or oh, Red Sea, have you ever fled away? Praise the Lord. By seeing someone, Red Sea will say, Yes, I have seen Moses who have seen God. I have seen the people of Israel. I mean, how they became the sanctuary of this God. When God was among Israel, when God was with Moses, this mountains, oh this Red Sea, this Jordan couldn't stand before those people because they became the sanctuary. They became the kingdom. They became the place where the glory of God dwelt. Hallelujah. People, um, people of God, when you became the kingdom person, when this mighty king ruled in you, when you are anointed by the Holy Spirit, when the cloud of God's glory fill your heart, when you are fully anointed by God, no mountains, no weapons of the enemy, no problems, no roaring lion, no roaring sea can stand before you anymore. In the name of Jesus, say with me, this is the day of breakthrough. This is the day I'm going to receive a mighty impartation from God. Hallelujah. Jesus is looking another 70. Common. 
ordinary among the ordinary whom he can share his heart with praise god let's all stand up together i love to preach for long i have a heart burden heart to minister for you all i'm little bit ahead of time asking the permission from the leadership my heart is burning with passion to see someone is going to be impacted by his glorious power you are a precious generation god wants to use in this last days can you believe can you be available for god will you be ready to receive something from god today hallelujah in this very section the hand of the lord is moving upon you i want everyone close your eyes and look into god for a moment all this building is filled with the glory of god the power of the holy spirit is moving in a specific way hallelujah at every corner of this building at every heart of those who are standing here the fire is burning once again the fire is burning once again i want everyone open your mouth open your heart the lord has come here in this equip summit to empower you delegate you to give you authority you're going to see the things that you never seen in your life the spirit of the lord is telling me great prophets great upcoming evangelist apostles are standing here in this room today even you don't know how much height and the weight that you have in the anointing that you received from god sometimes you don't understand the seriousness of god's call upon you great apostles are standing in this place great evangelists are standing here in this place mighty prophets becoming the voice of the holy spirit is standing here today great teachers time is coming when you stretch out your hand in the name of jesus you're going to see hundreds of i mean demons are fleeing away hundreds and thousands of people are set free by the power of the holy spirit time is coming the lord is going to export you with his mighty anointing nations are going to converted i mean people are going to be i mean receive the power of god through your ministry come on everyone open up open up open your heart open your heart come on holy spirit is ministering don't judge each other i am the symbol person how may here i'm the least one here i'm an young brother of you the lord is telling me today is the day hallelujah the eyes of the lord are set upon you looking for some dedicated one something is happening here tonight today this afternoon time the fire is getting to burn in your heart hallelujah a new era is going to begin a new beginning the people who are supposed to lose their ministry sometimes they will murmur your ears that you are useless you are no more useful but the god says today is the day i'm taking you in my mighty hands Come on everyone 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 a time of anointing time of anointing 
time of anointing time of outpouring hallelujah time of outpouring everyone come on connect to the spirit of the lord connect to the spirit of the lord connect to god's spirit today once again once again open the heart don't be ashamed open the heart already the lord is touching some of you already in the name of jesus i say wonder working yoke destroying bad i'm removing power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus come on everyone everyone open your heart let the river flow let the fire burn let the hand of the lord mightily move upon you in the name of jesus let the heaven open upon you let the presence of god people want to be prayed for can you please come forward quickly people want to be prayed for please come forward quickly come on come on this is a time of restoration this is a time of anointing this is a time of breakthrough in the name of jesus let the wonder working power of the holy spirit move through you once again God is looking at the 70. God is looking at the 70 whom he can share his heart with. God is looking at the 70 whom he can fill up with his power. Hudabashandara. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hold on, hold on, please. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm Let the wonder working power God, of the Holy Spirit. Than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, who could ever stop us? And if our I'm God gonna, is with us, gonna ask right then what could stand against? Some of the other pastors come forward, just begin to lay hands on people, just begin to pray right now. Just Some of our pastors just begin to come forward right now. That'd be great. Let's start worshiping the Lord. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand
feel you right now. Feel you right now. Feel you right now. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. 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 Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. And I want more of you, God. And I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and that I can't control. And I want more of you, God. And I want more. Come on, church, as you sing. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control and I want more of you God and I want more of you God instead of fight down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control and I want more of you God and I want more of there's no place no place I'd rather be no place I'd rather be no place I'd rather be but here in your love here in your love come on let's all sing it now no place I'd, I'd rather, rather be oh no place I'd rather be no place I'd rather be but here in your love here in your love no place no place I'd rather be oh no be but here in your love here in your love no place no place i'd rather be no place i'd rather be no place i'd rather be but here in your love here set a fire so set a fire down in my soul that i can't contain that i can't control and i want more of you and I want more of you, God. And set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. And I want more of you, God. And I want more. Set a fire, and set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. And I want more of you, God. And I want more. Yes, Lord, Jesus. You know, when you got saved, it was a divine miracle. The gifts and callings upon your life come through a divine impartation in your life. The anointing of God comes from heaven in your life. You know, this whole sense of the call of God on our lives, it is not a natural thing. It is a supernatural thing. And it's so easy to try and do life in your own power, try and do life, try and do ministry in your own strength. You were never meant to do it in your own strength. You were meant to do it by the power and anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. We need His power. We need His authority. We need His touch. Come on, let's all just reach out to heaven right now, everyone across the building. Lord God, I pray, let your impartation, Lord, fill and strengthen, Lord, and empower fresh, Lord God. Just pour out your power, pour out your fire, Lord God. Lord, we don't want to do it in our own strength. We want to do it in the anointing and the unction of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. No yes, place Lord. I'd rather be. No Lord. place I'd rather be. Yes, Lord, more of but you. Here in your love. More of you, here Lord. Here in your love. No, no place, place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. But here in your love. Here in your love. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather 
be no place i'd rather be but here in your love here so set a fire set a fire down in my soul that i can't contain that i can't control and i want more of you god i want more of you god set a fire down in my soul that i can't contain that i can't control and i want more of you god i want more of you you just take the hands of the person next to you and I just want you to pray for the person next to you if you do that. Just begin to pray for them. Let them pray for you. Come on, let's just speak over each other's lives right now in Jesus' name. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord God. More of you, Lord God. More of you, Lord. We need you, Lord God. We need you. Just begin just to pray right now and prayer of impartation over each other right now. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord.